this is Carly and I'm an admissions counselor here um, and this is HU. Today we're here um, with... I'm Nick Armson. I'm Katie Martin. Awesome. And we're just kind of here to answer some typical questions that we get from um, parents and students and just kind of let you know a little bit more about um, the admissions and things like that here today. So thanks for joining me guys. Of course. Um, first thing I just kind of want to ask if a new person coming in, maybe never been on a college visit before, maybe what's kind of the first steps within that? Absolutely. So there are several things that we try to cover with all of our students when they do a first time visit. Um, things like major, obviously, but then also a few things that maybe aren't so common. Um, I always talk with my students about what type of community that they're looking for, um, partially just because that was a big thing for me when I was coming in, um, but also talking through things like extracurricular activities. Um, Nick and I both help coach soccer here at the university. That was an involvement for us. Um, but there's a lot of different clubs, a lot of different sports and that sort of thing that students can be involved in as well. So mm -hmm. making sure that we're covering major and what they're looking to go into, but also covering the community as a whole. Okay, cool. I think my advice would be to use the internet as much as possible. I think especially now people are able to look at about any college in the world, mm -hmm. whether they actually visit there or not. So I think what I've seen from some more students now, on their visit, it's more of the next level things to where they already know everything because they've looked it up online. So while they're here, it's instead of the surface level, it's mm -hmm. it's that next step already. And mm -hmm. I think that has been really beneficial yeah. with just moving things along. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Would you guys say that there's like a perfect time to come and visit or more of mm -hmm. just like whenever you're ready? I think junior year is a great time mm -hmm. to visit. Mm -hmm because you're old enough to know what high school is like, but you are not ready for college yet. So you're still, mm -hmm. you're still growing up, but I think senior year is, honestly, I think senior year is too late to start because you're, mm -hmm. uh, you're <laughs> things are happening kind of fast <laughs> at that point. Yeah. But I think junior year is perfect. That would, that would be my advice. I would say if you visit junior year and kind of do that initial first visit, check things mm -hmm. out, then senior year you're able to specialize a little bit more, mm -hmm. and so you can come and spend the night on campus. That's a great way to get to know a college is by spending the night um, and hanging out with the student body a little bit with that. Um, mm -hmm. You can check out the academic departments a little bit more in depth that senior year too, mm -hmm. attend a class, maybe hang out with some of the professors as well and get mm -hmm. to know them. So if you visit junior year, then you have the freedom of senior year to really dive in a little bit mm -hmm. deeper with that. I always tell families go visit maybe five or six schools that they really like and then two or three that they liked out of that group go stay the night, go take a second visit and then stay the night and then I think that really helps from there. One thing I always tell students too, especially high schoolers, when you know, you're our age so you've graduated college and you look back, what are you hoping to say you got out of that experience and a lot of times high schoolers aren't able to answer that because like, well, wow, I haven't, I haven't really thought about it and sometimes they're really surface level, I just want to you have fun and, and make friends, which which is totally great in college, but I think mm -hmm. the closer they can get to answering that question, I think mm -hmm. the easier it makes their decision or the mm -hmm. better it makes their decision. Yeah. So now being our age, looking back, what would you guys say now that you maybe wish you would have known, um, you know, going into the process or anything like that you were hoping that you would have gotten out of your college just, you know, time here but didn't realize you wanted when you were 18 years old then? I would say I wish I could go back and tell myself to not be afraid to ask questions. Mm -hmm. I think I was a little bit reserved when I came in um, and yeah. was just kind of went with the flow with the tour and said okay you know tell me what you want to tell me about the college but I wasn't mm -hmm. super proactive about asking specific questions that I had. Um, so going in and it's okay to come into a college visit with a list of questions. Um, that was something that I didn't do that I really wish I did because there were some major things that I forgot to ask. Um, and obviously my admissions counselors followed up with me after and we got to talk through those things. So that was great. But I wish I had come in maybe a little bit more prepared with what questions I had specifically. I think I wish I would have come in undecided, honestly. Mm -hmm. I felt a lot of pressure from my mom especially to have a major picked out by the time I was in college I don't think I really knew what I wanted to do I think a lot of high schoolers don't know what they want to do the rest of their lives yeah. and so by the time I was a senior I figured you know maybe I'm not as passionate about this as I should be to do this the rest of my life mm -hmm. so I finished it got my master's in something else and it's working out a little better but my advice would be you know come in undecided for a semester even a year you can take classes you need but it's amazing how much you grow during that that mm -hmm. first year Absolutely. I think my biggest thing, I wish I would have been like more confident about doing personalized visits. I only did like group visits 
and which those are great, they're informative, and I think that's great for like the junior year when you're just getting to know. Um, but senior year, I still did those visits, and I don't think I necessarily maybe got all the information out of all the schools that I needed to to really make my decision. I mean, ultimately, I still made a decision, but um, I think it would have helped a lot more if I would have done those personalized visits as well um, with that. So, um, what would you say maybe um, is the most unique thing that you've had someone come in to you and say, this is what I'm looking for in this school, or this is how I'm helping me decide, things like that? We were talking about this earlier, and I think Nick had the best answer that I'd ever heard <laughs> for a reason. I did, it wasn't one of my students, but another counselor said uh, they had a student, and they only said it afterwards, but they had a student that went around, I think it was five or six schools, and tasted the pizza at every school, and I think their favorite pizza is where they ended up going because they love pizza and they were going to get it every meal, so for them that was a huge deal. Sometimes it's a pizza, sometimes it's a mascot in school colors. You never know what you're going to get. So. Absolutely. And I've had a student who said, you know, I looked at the clothes of people because I wanted to, you know, have the opportunity to dress up if I wanted to, but also dress down if need me. I didn't want to go to a school that everyone dressed up if I wanted sure. to be in my sweat. So. Good so. deal. <laughs> All kinds of reasons. Yes. Any other advice that you guys would give out to anyone coming into the process or who's already in the process but still maybe doesn't know kind of where they're at? Yeah, what we do with our families when they come visit is we have them, we go over a seven common factors why, or seven, seven common <laughs> factors when choosing a university. We have students rank them and families rank them. I think it, it starts a great conversation, if it hasn't been started yet. Sometimes they rank them, all the things are very close and that's really cool. The parents and students love that because mm -hmm. they're on the same page and sometimes they're, they're way off and that creates, you know, on the car drive. Mm -hmm. Home, they have things. That can either be, yeah, a little interesting. Maybe sometimes they're walking home after yeah. that, but it creates interesting conversations. And these are the conversations I think college ultimately comes down to the student, but often it's a huge family decision and you want everybody on board. So having these things and, you know, having mom and dad and brother and sister you know, on board with your decision, I think is really important. Don't be afraid to ask us questions too. Mm -hmm. And so take the opportunity to shoot us an email, give us a call, stop by campus, hop on this Facebook video. Yeah. And our, our Facebook profiles are linked in there too, so don't hesitate to shoot questions our way. Um, mm -hmm. They don't have to be Huntington specific questions even, they can just be college process in general. But use us as a resource, we're more mm -hmm. than happy to help out. Awesome. Well, thank you guys. Of course. Thanks everyone for tuning in today. Again, just like Katie said, if you have additional questions, um, please let us know. Either comment on the video, um, you know, comment on Facebook, us individually, things like that. We'd be happy to help you. Um, but also, again, don't forget to comment, like, share um, to be entered into our weekly prize as well as our scholarship um, drawing as well. Um, thanks again for tuning in, and this is HU.